If you are taking metformin, then few points you should always keep in mind to avoid the side effect. As we have previously discussed that metformin delays gastric emptying and reduces appetite. It causes the most common side effects like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, anorexia and even constipation. These side effects can be avoided by taking low dose of metformin or simply by taking with meal. Metformin can also cause heartburn and dyspepsia. It increases acid reflux and epigastric pain. Next is feeling dizzy. You may feel dizzy while taking metformin. This can be due to metformin induced orthostatic hypotension. If you are experiencing this side effects, then you should avoid getting up too fast. You should also avoid driving and other household activities in which there is a chance of falling. Next important side effects is metformin induced hypoglycemia. Hypoglycemia means low blood sugar. Metformin doesn't usually cause hypoglycemia. However, if you skip your meal during taking metformin, then it can lead to low blood sugar level in your blood. Some other conditions like strenuous exercise and excessive alcohol intake can also precipitate hypoglycemia. So keep this in mind. So how to identify? Watch for signs and symptoms like weakness, tiredness, nausea, vomiting, stomach pain, dizziness, lightheadedness, headache, irritability, excessive hunger, excessive sweating, tachycardia, abnormally fast or slow heartbeat. Now let's see what to do in that situation. You can eat or drink 15 to 20 grams of fast acting carbohydrates. These are sugary foods or drinks without protein or fat that are easily converted to sugar in the body. Try glucose tablets or gel, fruit juice, regular soda, honey or sugar candy. Long term use of metformin can cause vitamin B12 deficiency. Metformin interferes with the calcium dependent absorption of vitamin B12 intrinsic factor complex in the terminal ileum. Vitamin B12 deficiency can occur after many years of metformin use. Periodic screening of vitamin B12 deficiency should be considered especially in patients with peripheral neuropathy or macrocytic anemia. Increased intake of calcium may prevent the metformin induced vitamin B12 malabsorption. Now the side effects we need to worry about is the lactic acidosis. It more commonly occurs in renal failure patients as it is excreted unchanged in urine. So in renal failure patients, the excretion of metformin is decreased and its level increase in blood. As we have discussed that the primary action of metformin is to block the hepatic gluconeogenesis. Now the main substrate for gluconeogenesis is lactate, glycerol and alanine, which are converted to glucose in the liver. So increased metformin levels in blood in renal failure impaired the hepatic utilization of lactic acid. This leads increased level of lactic acid in blood which eventually leads to lactic acidosis. Other conditions which increase the chances of lactic acidosis like severe respiratory disease, liver disease, congestive heart failure and chronic alcohol abuse. Metformin is also contraindicated in those situations or conditions. Now some other side effects like weakness can also be seen with metformin use. It is also called asthenia. This muscle weakness and fatigue can also be related to other conditions. There is also an increased association of upper respiratory tract infection while using metformin. Metformin is also associated with taste changes. You can experience metallic taste while using metformin. The taste sensation can also appear to be blunt in some patients. Metformin can cause myalgia which means you can have muscle pain and muscle tenderness. You can also experience diaphoresis or excessive sweating, rhinitis or inflamed runny nose or congestion. So these are all important side effects of metformin. Hope you find this video helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.